the Surgical Mind Show. All right, guys, welcome to the Surgical Mind Show, guys. Special guest in my studio today. She's a, a home girl, shall we say? You know, I, I'll say introducing the lovely hardcore, Thank or shall I say, hardcore? I'm a champion. She popped into the Asian Today studios to say hello and talk about a new single. Shirni, so from hardcore to Shirni. How are you? I'm very, very good. I'm, you? I'm, I'm fantastic, I'm fantastic. You look refreshed. Thank you. You do. You do. You actually look, you know, I feel like, you know, they're like, there's some rap's gonna happen now. You no, just, like, no, you look no. like you're in the mood and could rap some with your Everyone yeah, keeps saying that to me. You look like people say to me, you haven't changed since the last 15, 20 years. I'm like, I look the same. That longest that you've been in the industry. Wow. Minus the Botox, <laughs> get! Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy to think that you've been in the industry for that long. Yeah, 21 years. Yeah, you've persevered. Uh, I've got to give you a high five for that. You know, well done, a Punjabi rapper. Thank you so much. And you know what? There's nobody else on the scene, to be honest with you. Mm. And you know what? So, to me, you are the queen of Punjabi rap. Thank you very much. If I can say so, that. Oh, that's really, <laughs> really sweet. So, let's talk about your new track, Share Me. Now to me, obviously, I watch the video. I like it. It's you. It, you know, you're in your element. You're sitting in your throne. And uh, let me guess: is it about hardcore? Is it or is it about women's empowerment? You know, it's a little bit of everything. I actually wrote the song a long time ago, about four and a half years ago. I didn't want to release that track at that point because you know you had the nearby case, which is the Delhi rape scene. Yes. And it's like something sad has so happened. I'm not gonna go now release a track on it and you know take advantage of the situation so I kind of left it uh, in my hard drive I put it away a couple of friends heard it last year you know and m the most funniest thing was yeah I got I really want to do my my real hip hop but my mom called me up and she was like I think it's about time we should start doing stuff that makes you happy you should show them your real skills which is with authentic hip hop and also you know I was just kind of tired with the stuff that's going on in India I mean it's a it's a problem, universal problem, but just with the fact that the way women are getting treated in India and, you know, things like they get judged for what, what they wear or getting paid less for doing the same job as a man and, you know, the, the we just need to treat women equally you know? and then I'm just trying to do my my way, my bit with Shirni. It's not a, it's not a track that I'm necessarily going to make money yeah. from and it's not a track for profit because when I did want to release it, I went to a lot of labels. They didn't want to back it up because it's not a commercial song. It's not going to make money according to them. So, you know, nobody really backed it up. But it's a real personal project. Like, I had to release this. So there's so many different reasons. Absolutely. Uh, the fun one is probably getting dished by my mom saying, you better do real hip hop now. I'm looking that way because mommy's in the house with all security. So. <laughs> she's actually here first time. But I'm not saying that just because she's there. It's actually true, like... You know, she pushes me a lot. I, you know, it's, it's, it's what she said. The main thing was, we're proud of you already. You're already going to go in history as the first Indian female rapper. You know, starting stuff that kind of makes you happy. Yeah, so, you know, when you know when I got a call and, you know, I say, you know, hardcore's in Birmingham, you know. So she went, I was like, absolutely. Thank you, know you so much. It's not, it's not, it's very rare I get to interview many female singers because they're all, they're all blogs and blogs and blogs and blogs. Yeah, it's a very you know, male dominated industry but I also feel that, you know, you got to be seriously, stupidly strong to do this because... And that was going to be my next question actually, is yeah. how you been holding it down? So as I was saying, on to my next question, which you've kind of touched upon, was how have you been holding it down for the industry for the last, what, how many years? 20 odd years? 20 odd years, yeah. Um, you know, a few years, uh, not even a few years back, when I was in UK, I think I guess it was about 2003, 2002, you know, I met a few female MCs who wanted to do something, either they were Asian or half Asian, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, cool, I'll help you out, you know. 
and then some people like there was there was a couple of female artists who are recorded and you know got a call on the day of the performance that I can't do this anymore because my boyfriend doesn't want me to or something stupid like I don't feel like it anymore. It's not a joke, you know what I mean? <laughs> See, then, then, to me, those are his, I, don't, I know that's, kind of artists. Yeah, they're not artists. Do you know what I mean? Um, I would just say that, you know, when you get into this kind of thing, you have to look at it that you're about to take a different path in your life. It's going to come with negatives exactly. as well as positives. So yeah, you're going to get the fame and you're going to be happy if you make it, if you're successful. Uh, first of all, if, first if you make it. Yeah. Second thing is then, then you got the issue of how you're not going to be able to have kind of a normal lifestyle, especially if you're a girl. Now also, you also added a track called Aise Party Karte Hai. As a good thing about it. Yeah, yeah. What a track as well. I love, I love the starting as I well. Didn't really want, I didn't really want to do a party track, you know. I wanted to return. Like this year, I was like, yeah, I'm going to come back now. I've had my little two year break and I've chilled out with the family because don't forget, I've been working from the age of 13. So it's been non stop working, working, working. So in the past two years, I kind of took time out to write. That's the first important thing. I'm trying to make it as a music director in movies. I've heard a few songs out. The last one was um, Ashik Mazaj in the Shokins uh, with Akshay Kumar and Nukapur, uh, Anupam Ke. So that was the last release, and I'm really trying to make it that for that you have to get your bank ready, so you have to get loads of tracks ready. Also, things like spending time with the family and playing with my brother's kids, and you know. I felt a bit of Mumbai then. Yeah, like well, enjoying. The family. No, but there's no family there, right? No, the no, accent, the accent. No, the accent. Yeah, yeah, like totally. I have to chill out, <laughs> yeah, you know, like. What is wrong with you, yeah? So, <laughs> so yeah, I just look, I I gotta enjoy the other things in life, the little things in life, like just chilling out, watching a movie, you know, uh, because I've been constantly working, working, working. So that was important. And then as the party happened because you know at the time that uh, I signed a deal with the label, they were like, you know, we want you to do a party yeah. track. I was like, I don't want to do another party track, but here is something different which I have. So I called loads of my celebrity friends and said. Come and be in the video, they're like, yeah, we're there. And Manish Paul, Saroj Khan, uh, the TV of Pictures guys, and Raghav, and Cyrus Barocha. Alright, cool. Right, I'm gonna move into my rapid fire right now. This is where I ask all of my guests random questions and they've got to give me the first answer that comes to their mind so are you ready yes there's not many but i try and make them as awkward as i can okay but then i have to do we love awkward <laughs> i know okay then right so <laughs> should we do yes okay your worst moment as a singer probably when you need to go to the toilet or something <laughs> like that i don't really have any other worst <laughs> moment even if i slip i make up for it and i style it out so nobody knows good 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 okay name a singer you can't stand name a singer i can't stand uh who's really irritating somebody who can't really sing <laughs> irritating singers bollywood or any with anyone is just you know when you listen to anything oh god i hate this Singer man, yeah, band I heard that. I heard that cheerleader track. Which one's that one? The cheerleader track that came out a few months like that. I found myself a cheerleader. It's like really, what? Like, <laughs> is that from? Is that from an indie film or? No, no, no. It's English. Like, why, why? <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, let's talk about English, English. He was expressing his feelings about how he feels, you know, about a cheerleader. We well, love cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with him. <laughs> okay, I'll have to find out what he thought the song was right. What would you do if your voice changed to the following? You know, so you woke up one morning and your voice had gone and it changed to somebody else. So, number one, Dilip Mendy. Oh, then I was just, he's got an amazing voice anyway, so I would be like the Don. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nicki Minaj. I'd kill myself because <laughs> I don't want to sound like this thing because I don't want to sound like that, you get me? <laughs> and finally, Kishore Kumar. Oh, I would love that. I wouldn't even want to change my voice if I had Kishore Kumar. <laughs> He's too good. I love Kishore Kumar. Oh, good, good, good. Name three words that would describe you. Uh, How would you describe yourself in three words? Okay. Um, encouraging. Uh, Strong because I don't quit. That's what my probably main thing is. And uh, too loud, I guess. 
But we like being loud. Yeah. All girls Loud's are good. loud. Loud's good. Loud is fun, girls are loud. <laughs> okay. What would you do if Ritik Roshan proposed to you? I'd make him, my brother, tie a rakdi on him. <laughs> really? He's, I don't like, like, good girl. Ladies, have you heard that? <laughs> she turned him into his brother? Well, you can give me a better high five, he's got six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I knew I was going to have fun on this interview, and it is. Okay, and nice, qu nice question. Actually, I didn't want to do her. Your best career moment to date? Uh, I think probably releasing Shirni. Uh, it's been the best move I've made for myself, for music, for girls, for hip hop. Yeah. Oh, All right, brilliant stuff. All right, guys, Hardcore is in the studio. Guys, check out her latest track called Shirni. It's out now. Please like and share and subscribe to the channel. Absolutely. All right, guys. Guys, there's lots more to come from Hardcore, right? In the future, there's going to be more diverse. She's released it on record level. So, guys, watch this space. Hardcore, Serge Kumar. Keep watching.